My name is Stefan Wuck for GetWebDoc and this is my first ever tutorial on Autodesk 3ds Max 2012. And this is about one topic I didn't find that much about. It's about putting cloth on a table. So let's have a look what we have right here. We have a table and a whole deck like room with nothing on it and I want to put a piece of cloth on it. So the first thing I do is switch to the top perspective. I see my table and I draw a plane which will serve as the tablecloth later on. I switch on plane and I look at the settings, the parameters. I want 40 length segments and 40 width segments. And I start drawing my plane. Now if at this point I think it's not sufficient to have these, I want more, I go to the modify panel and I can change these numbers. Or for some strange reason maybe I want it to be perfectly numbered. I say 1.5 to 1.5. What I can see now is that my tablecloth is underneath the table instead of hovering over it, which would be a good beginning. So I'm going to align my piece of tablecloth to my table. Switch the align button and align it to the kitchen table. At first I want to center everything. and apply this. And then I want the z-axis to be aligned to one another. And I want both to be at their maximum. I say apply, I say OK, and that's it. Then I want my piece of tablecloth to hover a little more over the table. So, that's good for starters. Next thing I want to do is rename this thing to tablecloth. It doesn't look much like a tablecloth. I want a nice material for this. So I open my material editor, a free slot. Look, I already named it tablecloth material and I'm gonna choose a material for this. By picking the standard button I'm able to choose from the Autodesk material library, fabric, and in this case I want plate red. I say OK. And you see it's pretty red here, although I don't see that much. I'm going to apply this to the still chosen tablecloth and have it viewable in the viewport. It doesn't look like a nice plate. So what I have to do next is choose another modifier, the UVW modifier. I'm going to choose box. Look, 150 by 150 approximately. And I'm going to choose this real world map size. And magically it worked. So next thing I'm going to do is apply a cloth modifier to this. So now it has a cloth modifier but it doesn't have any object properties yet. So that is what I alter next. I switch the object properties button on and I see I have my tablecloth. But it's still inactive. I have to tell it you are a piece of cloth, which I'll do by clicking this button. And then I choose a preset to start with. I just take the default. But right now in my simulation there's only one object. I need two objects. I need an object that this piece of cloth is colliding with. So I add an object. In this case, the kitchen table. 
this kitchen table is inactive right now as you see so I'll tell this highlighted kitchen table you are a collision object and I say OK so now let's simulate what happens if I click this button hmm they have some kind of relation to one another but it's not the one I thought they would have I'm going to erase this simulation again and alter the object properties. In this case, I'm going to alter the object properties of the kitchen table. I think it needs a little more depth and it needs a little offset. Okay, let's try it like this. I'll simulate again and as you can see it looks pretty decent. I can even cancel this right now. As you can see, the timeline went on during my simulation. And if I do this, it flies up again. But if I go over the um, key where I canceled um, the simulation, nothing is happening anymore. So um, you can see that by this I can create a simulation which I can later on render as a movie or I can just use this to find the best um, yeah, positioning or whatever and I think this looks pretty decent if I want to bake this now I'm just going to choose this object and alter it convert it to an editable poly the whole stack is gone you can see the timeline changes do nothing to my material. That's just in case you want it this way. So, I think that looks pretty realistic. I'm Stefan Vrock for GetWebDog. This was my first tutorial. I hope you visit my website www.getwebdog and I hope to see you again. Bye.